Morning guys. So today I'm off over to Jadiga to see Brett and Beck and Jeremy from Exploring Freedom. We're going to have a little meet. So Jeremy's coming down from North Wales. Um, I'm travelling over to Brett and Beck so we're going to have a look at their conversion that they're doing on YouTube and uh, have a chat and have a catch up. Last time we see each other was at Camp Quirky so uh, it'd be nice to catch up with them and see how they're getting on. So we'll see you in a bit. So we've arrived, uh, I'm with Brett and Beck and Exploring Freedom and we've come over to have a look at their van and how they're progressing with their, uh, their conversion. So everybody's inside at the moment having a look at his work, fair play, quality work he's been doing to it. don't know if you've been watching him on his YouTube channel of his progression with it. It's, um, it's really coming along nicely, fair play, really good. And they're standing in there and there's no like echo when you're inside and having a chat and everything. It's really good, really good quality. Uh, quality work he's been doing but fair play so uh, we've had a cup of tea we've all had a chat and a catch-up from uh, Camp Quirky we've had a game of pool South Wales beat North um, so you'll probably see a little bit of a time lapse of that and uh, yeah we're gonna have a look around uh, Brett's farm and Bex see you in a minute so guy Brett's got a twin reversing camera uh, both cameras are up on that mountain up there one looking straight down one looking back and uh, he's got the screen inside he's had a few issues with it but after sorting out the electrics and everything, it's all the, working. The one camera now and then, if we touch that there, we go the other one. That's really cool. Anyway, here's Brett. Hi, Brett. Hi, guys. Hello, everybody. Jeremy. Hi, yeah. You okay? <laughs> so we're all having a look at. Uh, well, these guys have got their vans. I've got my uh, crappy old Land Rover today, so. But. Uh, uh, that, hey, that's a good There's definitely been some well, work being yeah, done. Well. So guys, Brett's van is a Mercedes Sprinter, very much like a crafter. And uh, Jeremy's from Exploring Freedoms, which is down here, tucked on the corner, is a crafter like mine. So uh, we've all been kind of keeping in touch and uh, looking at each other's progress. And uh, you've probably already seen in Brett's van, but this is roof fencing. He's got all his wiring in. And he's got the little window like we've got in the back for ventilation and he's getting really excited now because now he's on the verge of uh, putting all his walls and all his uh, other bits and pieces in this Jeremy's son there Ben he's come down as well from North Wales so uh, yeah all good
queuing out to get into uh, Jez's, uh, <laughs> Jez's van. <laughs> Brett's got his camera know. on. I don't know why there's nothing to show. Oh, we're so if you haven't seen him already, that's his uh, YouTube channel and his Instagram. Give him a look. Brett's got to get stickers. Come on, Brett. You got, <laughs> all that, on you got that far with yours. Yeah, you got that, all that distance with yours and no stickers. I've got some memory foam. That'll do. Wait. Cut it out memory foam. <laughs> so here we go. Right. Mine's a bit of a tip. I mean, I'm slightly embarrassed. So, for people who have been following me, they will know roughly where I'm up to. So, the problem I had with mine was the rust. Which he's been treating. Yeah, which has been a good job. Yeah, um, all going now. I've just got these bits to do the grey bits. Um, and I've got some cure, cure rust, I think it is. The very back bit, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but this stuff is going to be part of my vapor barrier. Got them, got two of them, the other one's under there, for free. Got them for free. All helps. Uh, picked them up, didn't we, Ben? When we went down, where did we go? Get something for you. Uh, it's, uh, oh, it's always one, isn't it? And it's me. Because you're famous now, that's what it is. Um, so yeah, I've got them three. Um, I'm just going to do what Brett's done with his and use it as a vapour barrier, eventually. So what's the plan with the, uh, the layout? Well... Mm, he uh, said it was top secret just now, we might be getting a preview. <laughs> That's well, why he asked. Uh, yeah, yeah, under pressure though. Camera's, <laughs> camera's it, yeah, under pressure. <laughs> um, well, I, I, my layout is going to be, as I've said previously, because I've changed my mind, I was originally going to have a kitchen around by the back seats. Uh, by the front seats and then down the side uh, was going to be shower and the toilet room or what have you I've changed all my mind on that now the kitchen's actually going to go here I'm going to have seats across the back rather than a kitchen and then seating up to here and then this bit's still going to stay the same with the shower and then the bed at the back however the furniture and the decor inside I am not disclosing uh... <laughs> which I have kept secret all the way along I know exactly what I'm going to have um, it's going to take me ages to do it though because I'm going to be doing it myself. I might come and speak to Brett actually because he's a carpenter. <laughs> yeah, good. No. Good, so, good progress. Do uh, anything for money? Anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do anything for money. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you said yesterday. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm well behind uh, you guys um, just because I've had things planned and stuff like that. So, um, I'm, I. My plan is now that I've got my bits and pieces and I'm going to get the insulation and wood in a bit. And once I've got this done, I can just crack on with everything. Then I've got enough then to keep me going. Just goes to show though, now we're in your van. I don't know if you can hear, but the echoing oh, in yeah. here compared to when we were just yeah. in your van and you've done the insulation, you can see just how much of a difference that makes I mean, now. I, I have to say, you know, for looking at your van where you are right now, you know, I step in here and I think, oh my goodness, I've got so much to do. Um, but you know, jump at a time. I mean, how long has it taken you to do yours? About seven weeks, would you say? Yeah, it's been a good uh, three months, I'd say. Three months? Yeah, to get to where I am now. Yeah, so I I, I am not a skilled carpenter like this gentleman here. Um, so it's going to take me a lot longer. But I think just getting all the insulation in is going to be a big, big move forward. Uh, the other thing I've got to do is take that black uh, conduit off there. Uh, which is bolted on. Once I've got that off as well, that's where all the wires are going to run through there. Similar to what you've done with yours, Brett. Yeah. I don't know where, where are your cables actually, Jeff? You run yours across the top there. As um, well? Nope. All my cables run across the floor through the conduit. Have you run any across the top? No. So the original one that goes across there in my van, I've left this yeah. and I've carpeted it so it actually looks like it's a moulded right. section in, in the carpet. Right. Um, and yeah. then it goes. I've cut that corner section off where it points out yeah. and then boarded from there down the van right, and hid okay. the wire that original wire does that's probably the only wiring that's probably hid in my van actually because right, all right. my other wiring is accessible so right, um okay. but yeah i kept this because i actually once this carpeted it looks really quite um nice you haven't right. got to do any boxing or anything like that right, so okay, it works yeah. quite well yeah what i am going to do is a, is a little little disclosure and a little bit of a, what i haven't said above the top there where the seats are i'm going to actually have some shelving there so where the the light the section. It, yeah that section there that's going to be shelving uh with a frontage on it um and then across just below where the headrest are is going to be another frontage there but that would 
will be closed off of an evening time, uh, just so that it's private, really. So, so yeah, that's that's kind of me, really. A little bit embarrassing after seeing your van and what have you. No. All got to start from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> We're in Wales. <laughs> Just got back from uh, Brett's and uh, seen Jeremy and everybody over there and had a really good morning, fair play. We had a couple of games of pool and uh, had a good chat of catching up and the progress of both of their vans. Really had some good uh, conversations going on really and uh, nice to see Jeremy's van, what he's got up to. Brett's flying with his now at the moment. I don't think it's going to be long before he's going to be complete, fair play, and uh, planning to possibly have a couple of uh, meetups and campouts uh, in the future. So yeah, great to catch up with the guys. I haven't seen him for quite uh, quite a while since Camp Quirky and uh, looking forward to meeting up with him again. Um, Brett's house is amazing. I love it. It's stunning. Falling in love with Brett's house, fair play. The ideas that he's had over the time and the work he's done in his house. Never mind his van. His van is going to be mind-blowing. So uh, I think me and Jeremy have uh, a bit of envy there of what he's actually going to get up to because the work he's done in his house is fab. So... Thanks for the invite today, guys, coming over to see you. Uh, it was a pleasure to come over and meet you guys again. And uh, hope to catch up with you soon. Okay, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, I know it's a little bit of a weird one with me going to see uh, other van people, but um, if you could like and subscribe, would be grateful. And uh, if anybody else wants to meet up or pop over and come and see us, you're more than welcome anytime. Thanks a lot.